can be done differently than it used to be done. And we've done that. We have approached politics differently. We have approached team building differently. differently. And in learning to new, do new things and doing them differently, we encounter difficult moments. Because doing new things, doing different things is hard, and we're not always going to be perfect. But that's what we've done. And we have throughout it stayed focused on our values and on Canadians. To ensure a public airing of what happened, I took the unprecedented step of waiving solicitor-client privilege and cabinet confidentiality for Ms. wilson Ravold so that she could speak freely to her concerns on this matter. The Justice Committee heard over 13 hours of testimony from 10 witnesses, including Ms. wilson Raybould. They received pages and pages of documents containing emails, texts, and transcripts of conversations. Tout ça a été rendu public parce que pour nous, la transparence, c'est important et parce qu'on voulait permettre aux Canadiens de juger par eux-mêmes les interactions dont il est question. Le commissaire à l'éthique, un agent indépendant du Parlement, mène actuellement une enquête dans ses allégations. Et finalement, j'ai nommé l'ancienne vice-première ministre et ancienne ministre de la Justice et procureure générale Anne McClellan pour conseillère spéciale. Je lui ai demandé d'examiner les questions qui ont été soulevées dans la foulée de cette affaire, incluant la relation entre le gouvernement fédéral et le ministre de la Justice et procureure générale, et de me fournir des recommandations pour l'avenir. En tant que leader, j'ai toujours été d'avis que mon rôle consistait à rassembler les gens, surtout ceux et celles qui ont des talents, des opinions et des expériences de vie différentes. Je sais qu'on est plus fort unis que divisés. Parce que cette diversité d'opinions est ancrée dans des valeurs communes, des valeurs qui sont au cœur, de qui nous sommes. When we were elected in 2015, we won because we stood together as a team, which, which was, to be frank, a change from past iterations of this party. The old Liberal Party was notorious for infighting. People on the same team used to identify themselves not as liberals, but as hyphenated liberals. My leadership was a commitment to change that. Civil wars within parties are incredibly damaging because they signal to Canadians that we care more about ourselves than we do about them. That's why I made the difficult decision to remove Ms. wilson Raybolt and Dr. Philpott from the Liberal caucus. We've taken every effort to address their concerns. But ultimately, if they can't honestly say that they have confidence in this team, despite weeks of testimony, face-to-face -face conversations, and phone calls with myself and other members of caucus, then they cannot be part of this team. If a politician secretly records a conversation with anyone, it's wrong. When that politician is a cabinet minister secretly recording a public servant, it's wrong. And when that cabinet minister is the Attorney General of Canada secretly recording the clerk of the Privy Council, it's unconscionable. Since the beginning, I've approached this situation with patience and understanding. My rationale has been that real change is hard. And so it requires patience, and it requires understanding. But being a member of caucus comes with both rights and responsibilities. The team has to trust each other. And with Jody Wilson-Raybolt and Jane Philpott, that trust has been broken. Our political opponents win when liberals are divided. We can't afford to make that mistake. Canadians are counting on us. Thank you. 
Évidemment, les dernières semaines ont été difficiles, mais je veux assurer tous les Canadiens qu'on n'a jamais perdu de vue ce qui compte vraiment pour eux. On rend le logement plus abordable pour ceux qui pensent acheter leur première maison. On donne aux travailleurs le temps et l'argent dont ils ont besoin pour retourner à l'école, obtenir une formation ou perfectionner leurs compétences. On met en place les bases d'un régime national d'assurance médicaments et, après les attentats de Christchurch, on continue de dénoncer la haine sous toutes ses formes. On agit pour que tous les Canadiens se sentent en sécurité et soient ici, chez eux. Alors que l'opposition préfère s'acharner sur les désaccords survenus au sein de notre parti, plutôt que de présenter leur plan pour l'avenir du Canada, les libéraux ne se laisseront pas distraire. Je l'ai déjà dit, mais je vais devoir le répéter. Pendant que les conservateurs concentrent leurs énergies sur nous, on va continuer de se concentrer sur les Canadiens. The next election is around the corner, and the stakes are high. This fall, Canadians are facing a clear choice. Our opponents want to take us backwards. For proof, look no further than their lack of a climate change plan. It's been 338 days since Andrew Scheer said he'd soon release his plan to protect the environment. We're still waiting. The Conservatives think that photo ops at gas stations are all they need. They've seen that the first thing they'll do, if elected, is to make pollution free again. But what Canadians really want, like their parents and grandparents before them, is progress. Canadians want fairness and equality. They want to have their kids breathe clean air and have safe drinking water. They want to live in a country that protects minorities and stands up against intolerance. And they want to know that in a changing economy, their government will have their back and invest in their success. This is what this year's election is all about. This is what's on the line. Our government has made some tremendous progress over the last few years for seniors, for families, for students, for workers, and for newcomers. And we have always, always fought to create and protect jobs, and we will never apologize for doing so. <laughs> Liberals are ready to take on the challenge in front of us, and most importantly, we're ready to do that together united, stronger than ever, and with a clear vision of what we will continue to deliver for all Canadians. Merci beaucoup, mes amis.